Hello, everybody. It is Tuesday, May 24th, 2022. I'm Bryce Castillo, your pre-show navigator host, introducer, escort extraordinaire. I don't know who that is. Hello. Welcome. We're going to get you into the green room in just a moment. First off, let me tell you a little bit about what's coming up today. We got a lot of good stories. We <laughs> Ryan came in on a tear today. And uh, so we've got some fun stuff that we'll, we, we will be reading throughout the night, probably. Uh, Justin has a, a questionable, questionable topic. I'm questionable about it. I've got something. I've got something special for Justin uh, or for, for somebody. Who knows? No one is even quite sure who um, would even have that. Um, uh, bah, 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 bah. Then we got a game. We got a game. You probably saw it in the text or in the, the alert. All about orifices and orifices. And we got a punishment today. We do have a punishment today, I believe. Check that out. Um, and then all sorts of good stuff. We'll get your birthdays. And uh, I think Corey, you know, Corey and mine, uh, I may not get a chance to talk too much, <laughs> the two of us today, because uh, uh, Annalisa and Jeff are not here. So I think he's running camera duty on his own today. So. Uh, we'll find out. That's right, Real Angel Maze. Well, hey, if you want more marbles in your life, it's coming on Fridays. Fridays, 9 p.m. Eastern time here on Night Attack. All right, but let's uh, let's try and take it over to the green room and maybe see uh, see how they're doing. Green room, can you hear me? Yeah. We can hear you. Sorry, we're calling Bonnie right now. Yeah, you got us in the middle of calling we're, Bonnie. We're, we're checking weather. I can it's do a little, okay. five, I can do a little bit of nine. Nine. And Can you, and well, can you turn that AC off when you get a chance, please? Yes. Oh, ooh, yeah, hold on. I got yeah. it. I got it. I got it. Good call. Oh, got it. There it is. It's too slow. Too slow. Oh, yeah. There it is. All right. Thank you very much. Listen I'm up, there guys. I'm glad. Just the three of us. Wow. No. I, I, wait, I mean, oh, is there a ghost here? No, I. Ghost of I told Abraham everyone Lincoln. else not to come. Oh, you did. I wanted to talk just to the three. I told of you. him not to come. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Is this like a uh, like a personal uh, meeting? I would appreciate the respect of your full attention. I'm I'm attending business. Work faces business. off. Yes. Business. Okay. Biz. What's up? Ness. What's up with business? Commerce. Yep. <laughs> Shareholders. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Family. <laughs> Quarterly. Uh-huh. Reports. Yep. Sure. Am I the only one reading? No. SLAs. Metrics. Look, I've been looking at the trends. <laughs> and trends. I got to say, Synergy has been... Synergy a, has been up. A, variables? Variables All over down. the place. Variables all over down. the place. Way, way down. Taxonomy? Sure. Up. up. Okay. Up. According to, if you uh, say so. In China, which is a leading indicator. Oh. <laughs> I ran out of buzzwords. Okay. <laughs> now well, I, I ran, Now I, I just have to get buzzed. By yeah. the way, the uh, uh, the great Lil Duval, who's a, an, uh, a comic and a great Twitter Fed follow. rates. Thank you. All right. Yes, there thank you, Jeff. Yeah. No, you're just Fed taking shit back. Yeah, just. Uh, that's what we always do. All no, right. he, uh, yeah. uh, Bubbles. Uh, uh, he, he, he uh, posted this uh, uh, retweet. Of this lady who's like, y'all, I'm unfortunately here to tell you that strip clubs are a leading economic indicator. <laughs> <laughs> and we are already in a recession. It I, was a stripper <laughs> who oh was posting man. it. Okay, uh, <laughs> that is remarkable, but I honestly don't know if it's remarkable because uh, that wasn't already obvious to everyone or because she... I think the also boldness to because, say it. because it's a very funny idea that is like when you think about it, fairly intuitive. That yeah, like, right. If, oh, if you no, have no, literal money to flush down strip, the toilet, yeah, strip that's clubs where you go. are yeah. a leading economic indicator. We should always be paying attention right. to the like champagne room rates at, at you know at every every. We should check in with level. Heaton on that. Just like so, Heaton. He's like, I've never been. Uh, <laughs> I've never been to uh, a adult gentleman club. Uh, I think he's talked publicly about the I fact that he said it on this he, show. Yeah, he lives like within within a an aerobe toss of a strip club. Yes, and uh, uh, <laughs> it's like this constant thing teasing him, where it's just like whenever he whenever four whole people. Bro, aren't available to hang out with him. He's like, well, I guess I'm that guy. <laughs> <laughs> they, I mean, what was it? Was it New Year's it Eve? It was New Year's Eve. It was New and Year's instead, Eve. the most epic New Year's Eve of all time. He played Dungeons and Dragons with us, went and sang karaoke, Man. did the whole nine yards. Yeah, no, amazing. he came to our place. So fucking, yeah, no, he was just like, like, well, you know, like, it's that old, that old song. 
when you're alone on New Year's Eve, sing me a you song. You have to go to the strip club and be sad. <laughs> the with the other man. sad. <laughs> sing me a song. Sure. Sing, sing me a song with your pussy. Because <laughs> we're all in a mood for a. <laughs> and you're looking good to me. But I'm sad. <laughs> That's the underlining thing of all this yes. is that this is not a happy time for me. I'm I'm very sad. I and guess. I paid the cover charge and died inside. <laughs> but to but to not drinks. very far to go <laughs> to the Rosemary stage <laughs> where I met a girl named Sage. Sage, yeah. And she. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. Well, yeah, I mean, except that's that's fanciful because strippers don't need to buy a blow. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. We're going to bring it back right now, hopefully. Just hopefully, right? Oh, no. I heard my family that said this to me, but when I asked him how many, how he had, how many, how many, how he had as many stories about Wait, having did sex we go, with... Did we go, what happened? Oh, okay. It was my Uncle Bob. So anyway... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna give his alias, and then he said, "Yeah, so you know what? No. Put it here." So, uh, I, uh, how do you have so many stories about having sex with strippers? And he's like, "Oh, cocaine." <laughs> it's very simple. A very simple answer. Uh, there is a humility to anybody uh, like uh, around forty-five who has had adventurous sex tales, and and like. Uh, Almost the exact same conversation. Somebody's like, I don't know, I just dealt drugs. It's, it's not that yeah. hard. You just get laid a lot. Turns out, turns out it's the nexus to uh, everything that we find it's exciting in life. Nexus to my Lexus. Except the uh, boing to my loins. I've known ladies which can and be gentlemen. Exciting. Give it up. I, I, I definitely know people that dealt drugs for a period of time and then just invested it in real estate and a very prestigious business i feel the need uh i see you in the chat is like is brown you're gonna zima not that there would be any problem with that but now i feel the need to pivot the jack daniels logo because yeah. except for the fact that it looks like it's ripping off mike's hard lemonade uh, yeah because it is yeah yeah that's yeah. what that's what anybody it, got a zima hard lemonade yeah, yeah. yeah. Nick of time. Bryce. Nick of time. Bryce. Hi, everybody. Oh, so Bryce. How goes it? How goes it? It goes well. Hey, man. Hi. We're chilling out. I, we did the soft lighting today. Oh, but yeah, it, it looks good. pretty bright on the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like photography. Bryce. Hello. Yeah. How, how, um, can I confess something? Okay. Yeah. I was very pleased that you were willing to help out Penny with her live streaming. Uh. Be real. Yeah, Mostly be right because uh, I didn't have to worry real. about doing it wrong. Uh -huh. um, how, did, how did it go? <laughs> did you do it right? It was good. I, I hope I did it right. So Can we get some backstory on what the fuck you're talking about? Yeah. So uh, Penny is interested in streaming like every kid is. She's interested in VTubers especially, I'm told. Wow. So uh, she's... Uh, uh, one thing she, she is not interested in, just general alert, mm -hmm. is any connection between me and her online. Just, yes, just yeah. so, so she does now. Like know she's not going to be word. daughter of yeah? bride. Yeah, correct, correct. All right, here we go. Yeah. And modern, so modern daughter. This <laughs> great daughter. Uh, <laughs> she's none of those. None of those. None things. of those things. Yeah. Uh, I scam daughter. <laughs> well, well, that one's already taken. That... <laughs> Cord daughter. <laughs> Weird daughter. Yeah. Daughter things. Great. Uh, daughter. <laughs> and of course, uh, great. Did we say great daughter? Great daughter. Yeah. Did, yeah. Daughter yeah. night. World's greatest daughter. The world's greatest daughter. World's daughterest con. Boy, we love the words great and fuck <laughs> scam. No, and literally, night. Why, we almost we almost picked a, a title. With great in it uh, uh, for the new Heat and Briny show. And I'm like, really? enough, enough. I, everything, <laughs> oh, I right. get it. I love great. Uh, I think the title I had suggested was like, it's going great or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was it. Yeah. <laughs> We're just like once is once is like oh, okay you know like yeah that it was a Steve Harvey I, joke I, great night we're gonna have a great night <laughs> twice is a pattern twice I is didn't a even best realize trend. world's greatest kind of great night were the same thing until well <laughs> after. <laughs>
<laughs> well uh, after. But uh, so she, so she was interested in in VTubers and and uh, I, I guess we're, we're we're giving her a little bit of studio time to mess around with our computers in here. And oh hell yeah! So we got her set up with OBS and showed her different things. Well, I was I, I was wondering what the Bryce prescription would be. So for somebody who wants mm-hmm. to be a VTuber, like like I know that Penny spent like a week and change doing all of the the inverse kinematics to make all of the bone structure and everything work. Mm. Uh, so OBS was the the backbone you yeah. pre- prescribed. Uh, yeah, as far as streaming goes cuz I you know, and and I told her like I can show you like remix and stuff, but this is not what you're going to use when you're on your own computer right. you're, if you would ever use this it would not be for a very long time so um yeah and she had already used obs before like she's i don't know she's a teenager she's used the open broadcasting software they love that shit um <laughs> those kids with they their love obs that shit. oh my god they rock and roll it, it was this kids weird are like you go full o fucking yeah no judy jets it if they made that shit now mm. they'd be all on obs and buying heroin off the silk road and yep like, yeah <laughs> True facts. Jane, his wife. Family. (laughs) 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 Just crushing Adderall. I think I gave myself a nosebleed. Um, uh, From dealing cocaine? No, I get a dry nose. nose Are you moonlighting as a stripper? (laughs) Call back to a thing that happened. Go ahead. And uh, um, so, but it was funny because I would, I, I, like had her do everything. Like I, I was like, "Hey, you know a little bit about this, so I'll just walk you through it." But it, it was this weird thing where I couldn't tell when I was about to suggest her something she did not know, or something that was incredibly obvious to her. Right. Um, Same reaction. Or I just, I just didn't know. And it's not like she had a bad reaction either way. But I was like, "Okay, well, so now you're gonna want to find what's the software that you use to make your VTuber with." Uh, oh, well, it's you know this thing. Okay, well, let's get Steam. And she's opening up Steam and she's installing it. And, and were you hosting this like like it, like you were Mr. Wizard? Like <laughs> like what? Well, were, like, I know, I but mean, I, to, to be honest, part of me wishes I had set up like a, a GoPro in the corner <laughs> <laughs> so I could have seen it. No, I just wanted it to be. Um, I wanted her to do it because because I'm realizing now I have never in the flesh seen like super nurturing price, like I mean, and, 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 and <laughs> okay, not, yeah, not, not, yeah. not because I don't think oh that my it God, is beyond your capacity. You just saw the sound of his heart breaking. That's yeah. all he does no, is try to nurture nice. us. Are oh, you kidding me? Oh, no, no. Do you realize how much <laughs> bullshit? Are, no, 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 no. up with no, no, no. to make us feel good about he ourselves? <laughs> he laughs at all. He's he, laughing now. He tolerates us. He's crying us. inside. He tolerates us. He's crying but he pretending not, to laugh. He does not. No, no, no. He does not nurture. He has to deal with us. He fucking papers over. I don't know. About we're, 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 we're dropping food on the floor <laughs> in, in, in the no food dropping zone, and Bryce is with Fuck. dignity and grace fucking dealing <laughs> with the fucking uh, flailing human condition that is me and you. It's not somebody who's like yeah. like uh, he's, uh, he's coming so, up and he's, he's like, so let me let me impart let me impart my wisdom to you. I, I have not seen that. We're uh. like halfway through eating a churro. The churro drops, and he manages to make an elegant bow and scoop up the and churro. And he scoops it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, and then me and you are like. <laughs> Where's the rest of my churro? <laughs> and he's like, he's like, like, oh, I don't know. No, I think it blew I, off I, in the I, wind. Yeah. <laughs> Let, Let me make the, another one for you. Get Somebody the stole it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I, it, you know, it's weird because, like, ostensibly I do education stuff. I mean, we've been doing Scam Nation and Scam School for all these years. Um, uh, I, I, not for nothing. Take a moment and just inhale and appreciate you created educational programming that is on Disney Plus. Yep. How fucking dope is that? Boom, boom, yeah. boom, boom, boom. It's great. And um, and so I tried not to overthink it too much and, and really let her drive in terms of like, okay, like, what do you need? Right. Like, here's OBS. You know OBS. What do you need? Do you need to log into Steam? Do you need yeah. to download a thing? Like, what like, don't you know? Basically, start going, and when you get to the part where you don't know what to do, mm-hmm. ask. And and the answer is more here. or less. Yeah. Yeah. Um I think the only thing the only thing I mean that not even like a downside, like I I, I don't know that she's like ready to share a lot of stuff yet that she's made and so i kind of wanted to see what sort of stuff she was doing but we kind of spent a long time doing the setup stuff and i think i don't know she was uh she she was also creating kind of a a a fan fiction uh sub culture within an Mm -hmm. established world so there's boundaries that she gets to play within okay Uh, which which to be honest uh that's something i would highly recommend 
uh, to build up those muscles of being a live streamer, uh, it, as you know, we often make the parallels to a jungle gym where it's like uh, 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 comedy wise, when we don't know what to do, we like the monkey bars of being able to grab something else or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so as, as and uh, like we uh, like, oh, my God, how much I don't know about you guys, but I deeply love the epic rap battles of chat realm uh structure that was going around where everybody was doing diss tracks against each other oh yeah uh gosh uh, what, that uh, was... kuhan yeah uh, uh the rest i, 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 don't, I don't i don't i don't i don't, I don't, I don't I want to hazard a number guessed as to how many years ago that was yeah because like seven that, seven there, seven uh, more there there, there was for me no no because no, there's there's i think it's delahenty who's posting mm -hmm. the like 10 years ago thing and i'm and like no that's not 10 years ago yeah. uh, and i think that, that was probably older than some welcome. of the shit that's happening there welcome yeah. to my age there's so many times that you go Wait, the 90s was 30 years ago? Yeah, except mm. do you have a Twitter account dedicated to reminding you week by week how old you are? Because we can arrange that. <laughs> uh, I mean, Facebook does a pretty good job of doing that. They do, that. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That I am on it is proof of that in, in, yeah. in itself. Um, so, so, every, so everything went good? So it went great, yeah. Uh, uh, she seemed like she had everything she needed to kind of get started. I think, like, I it... it it was not very long into it that I realized she kind of just needs me to like show her how to get on to this and to know how much she can fuck with stuff. Yeah. And so, um, hopefully, hopefully I was like the cool, man, that guy. YouTube stuff can be really complicated too. Yeah. And I, uh, she's I wanted like putting, to, she's putting the, mm. the, the super work into it, right? Yep. Yep, she's yep, like yep, illustrating yep. it and, and like, yeah, wow. She's like, she's like making the VTube, uh, uh character. And, 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 uh, uh, like, yeah. She's made a, uh, social media account that is completely in character mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, I'm stoked for her. And it's one of those things where it's like the worst thing I could do is try to help in any way. It's like, I'm like, I'm like, uh, you go girl. yeah one like there's a certain amount of like there's a certain amount of she'll figure it out yeah and a certain brian's, amount of brian's uh, first bit of held back advice could you add a graying sidekick <laughs> So you pe think, so you pepper think that you could add a graying sidekick? Just, I'm, just, I'm just saying in general, just evidence saying. shows. This has usually evidence gone shows. very well to add a graying sidekick. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and so, uh, to you. It, <laughs> So, uh, Bri Brian so, slowly crosses out lesson one of his new <laughs> of his new uh, fucking uh, his new series of uh, 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 speeches. And then tomorrow I realize I write like uh, like I, I I grab Bonnie's lipstick and I write on the mirror I can be graying. <laughs> <laughs> this big epiphany hip hop music plays. Yeah. You know what I was thinking? I, I, I have a graying sidekick. I am graying. <laughs> doing, doing the Sherlock thing, but moving yeah. two letters. He goes into his mind palace and figures it out. Uh, all right, we ain't going to talk about it on the main show. Uh, mm. Rescue Rangers got better with the second viewing. I don't care that it's nothing but a bunch of member berries. I don't care that uh, it's... I think it's more. I think it's more than that. I think it's more than just the member berries because it's wrapped in the idea of... Uh, also calling out shot for shot the way reboots work and all that stuff. Yeah, because it's meta. Yeah. And so the idea is... And also it's like... Uh, very clearly for people uh, uh, between our ages that saw those cartoons and then also saw everything they saw afterward and want a PG action caper that has things that call back to stuff that they remember. But mm -hmm. I, I think it's very capably written. It's it's really, really funny. If you like uh, uh, Lonely Island, you're going to love it. If... Uh, uh, you watched any of the Disney shit? You're gonna love it. Yeah, uh, I still haven't seen it yet. I plan on it, and I've heard a lot about it at this point. But it does sound a lot like the Sonic movie, like even like just ba like structurally, plot wise. I was like, do they have the same actors? <laughs> well, they no, have well, they have Sonic they, in it. They do yeah. have Sonic in it. But, so wait, but do, do, do you know do you know the, the, do you know the, the idea for it? No. So uh, <laughs> in this version, uh, animation is. Uh, like in Roger Rabbit, tunes are part of the world. Oh, cool! Right, uh, and so the rescue Chippendales Rescue Rangers was not, or it was a beloved show for three. Whole but seasons. it was a show where tune actors 
played roles. Oh, I and see. And so now, uh, uh, one of them. Yeah, yeah. Chip has gotten the 3D surgery to look more like a modern <laughs> tune. Dale is still in his sure. like, line drawn form, uh, and they have to go on uh, a a like Chinatown. Esque, like, oh, like right. uh, uh, there's definitely a solve. scene with 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 Chip, you know, signing autographs at a fan convention. Uh, oh, that no, it, I, I mean, as best I could tell, that's either the Los Angeles Convention Center or the San Diego Convention Center. Assume. Probably I, San Diego. I, I, no, no, I think it's the LA one. LA, yeah. Yeah. but but uh, but having but, having sat at a sad table at the LA <laughs> Convention Center, I'm almost positive it is that. Uh, next to him is, uh, oh, the ugly Sonic. From the trailer <laughs> that got Going recast, with the human teeth? yes, <laughs> and it's Tim Robinson from I Think You Should Leave. Oh yeah. no, no. So that was that was the thing that got Brian excited was as soon as I had read a thing, and I'm like, I don't know, I think I got to watch this thing, and I think you have to watch it too because Ugly Sonic is in it, and I thought it was a cameo where Tim Robinson turns out he's like a major part of the oh, fucking plot. No. Oh, and also, this is on Disney. Like, yeah, 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 Disney uh, Plus. Disney Plus. Disney Plus. Uh, 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 done by the Lonely Island. Uh, so I'm already like in. It's like, oh my god, I'm excited. Sure. And then uh, the morning of, I, I want to say it might have been out for like all of seven hours, and I I, I forget what we were texting, and just as like, oh, by the way, uh, Chip Dale's good. Uh, no, I texted you, Ugly Sonic is a star. <laughs> yeah, and, and you said, uh, this movie was made for us. I yes. was like, explain. And he says, the opening song is Tenacious D. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so during, during, during the heartwarming intro about how actor Chip and actor Dale became friends in like uh, elementary school or whatever the, oh, the song that they play for the montage friendship is, is rare do you know what i'm saying to you friendship is rare <laughs> my uh, derriere sorry I'll, yeah, yeah. but yeah no it, it's, it's it's good uh uh it's fucking really funny it's if i were to nitpick just a bit and i love every minute mm, of it i'm mm, not i'm not mm. I'm, it just uh, it is in, it is in the universe of Roger Rabbit. Sure. It is not Roger Rabbit. Right. And and that is like only respect and saluting to the fact that Roger Rabbit is actually an exceptional film noir plot. Right. Uh that plays out in this like crazy world. Uh where this is like mostly, you know, a a, a vines, plot vines to swing to other sets. So there's not there's not a horrifying uh, tune death in Turpentine. Uh, oh no no no. They no don't there even are kill those. any of the tunes. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. None of the tunes die. They have a fate worse than death, which is to be uh uh bootlegged. Oh. They remove key parts of their facial structure oh, man. so that they can be remade into cheaper versions of the Disney movies that they're from. That's amazing. So just 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 to wet your whistle, uh, uh, the the <laughs> fucked up bootleg version of Lady and the Tramp is just spaghetti dogs. <laughs> 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 so good. I'm gonna Sounds just funny. write that down. Uh, so yeah, before we spoil the entire fucking plot, uh, <laughs> because we will, because we, we fucking will. Like, again, we, uh, man, we should. But yeah, John special. Mulaney and and Andy Samberg are Chip and Dale, and the the voice cast is insane. It's really really good. Uh, shout out to Larry Fong, yeah, who's been on this show, who was the director of photography for that uh, movie, and anybody hmm. who's shooting a fucking tunes and people interact. Movie and tunes in the physical world. It's never movie. easy. Super fucking hard. So big shout out to Larry Fong uh, uh, on that. I was super excited to see uh, him. I him wonder if my there. kids believe me anymore when credits roll and I say, that's my friend. <laughs> like, they're all like, yeah, dad, they're all your friends. Yeah, all yeah. Your sure, friends. you know everybody. <laughs> You've been everywhere. I get it. Uh, no, I get that when it, when I'm watching anime. There's a lot. To, oh, that's why we did the thing together. That's it. And they're like, okay, Brad, we get it. Yeah, sure. you yeah. know all these people. So, yeah. uh, have, Brad, have you found that 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 creating anime has uh, affected your consumption of anime? It's reduced my consumption of anime. So, so like, um, uh, I, what was the movie that my kids got me to watch? Uh, the the shape of S a voice, the shape of water. No, the no, uh, the <laughs> that's the fish fucker movie. Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I yeah, don't, that was the sound, uh, the shape. Uh, the, is it the the, the quiet one? Uh, yeah, one with uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the deaf girl. Deaf girl. Uh, oh in yeah, the school. Oh, yeah, that was a good movie, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's the thing is 
because I've seen so much of it, my what I will I'm good with is a lot you're, higher. Yeah, uh, and you're, yeah, your tolerance. And I've for been bad able to anime. be in really good things too. Right. Mm-hmm. So because of that, uh, in the end, I'm like, man, I don't want to watch shit anymore. I don't want to be in shit anymore. I want to be in something good. And it's like, well, you know, sometimes you don't get that choice. Okay. And here we are on Great Night. Yep. And now <laughs> I'm on a great show. God damn it. <laughs> We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna shave off. I know your where beard. we're gonna go. We're gonna go the other direction with that, but <laughs> yeah, I'm staying positive. Uh. The shape of voice or a silent voice. I think there's like two different. Like, one, yeah. one is the comic. The other is the movie. Uh, yeah. One's, uh, one's uh, the one where the anime girl does the thing, and the and other one is right. where the oh, anime right. girl does right. the other. Right. You know, she's yeah. an orphan. And, exactly. You know, she's going she on. She looks an like way too young. Way too but, young. Yeah. But yet we see panties just way too yeah. much. Sad. Fuck you, I was crying. Uh, all y'all eat some shit. It's healthy for you. It's got vitamin S. It's got biotics. Yeah. It's, probiotics. It's, it's got gut biotics. It's got yes. Bioforum. neutral biotics. Yeah. <laughs> I'm probiotics. Personally. Uh, yeah. Not antibiotics. No. I'm, I'm pro choice. Well, you can have biotics if you want. I don't know. I don't know. Well, uh, <laughs> I was going to ask you. I was going to ask you. Yeah, yeah, like, 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 to a, a comedy zone that would not be funny. I wasn't ready for that one. Yeah. I walked up to the double yeah. black diamond. Considering, um, considering I'm already going to. I've already, I've already pitched a, a segment <laughs> called Is It Homophobic? <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me save my coupons. For my yeah. I see you I has it. It's called Silent Voice on Netflix. Silent Voice. It's quite worth watching. Uh, it takes a while to get all the way into it because um, it takes ooh, a bit. the main character, you really don't like him for yep. the first mm-hmm. 30 minutes. Yep. Then, mm-hmm. Yeah. Hitler. But, it turns out Hitler. But there's a great moment between two characters and they're trying to figure out where they like or. Yeah, that whole bit. Justin, That's do you know that when there's that great moment? You don't know. Oh, well, no, it's it's so my, my favorite part is the one where that scene where they're on the airship. That's and right. It's a great, great moment. And they're and like, they're so like the looking at the air. No, but, they're, but, like, but, but, they're like, fuck, can you believe this ship flies on air? And then the other dude who's like probably working for the government is like, mm-hmm. like, 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 no, I can't believe it. Mm-hmm. And then he just yep. falls off the airship. Yeah. And but nobody knows how to. And then he flies because it's an anime, so they can do whatever they want yep. flies with wings Absolutely. out and turns into a pig and then he turns into a pig well i mean that's really in that's a controversial one though right because yeah. mm-hmm. in the netflix version they don't have that but that's in the right. original anime he does turn into and they use a but different that's a voice very actor. political and they use a different voice actor too <laughs> those fuckers now it's, now it's personal <laughs> <laughs> it, it was brett was it. actually the voice of the pig that's in the right original and dub. they cut me yeah the Fuck real fans guys. know the, right the real, real fans i'm still saying i'm still signing headshots for that so fuck those guys yeah, that was my favorite part. <laughs> that was my favorite part about that. Well, that, that anime. Have, and, uh, uh, what was your favorite part, Brian? <laughs> when when he said his name was Dale and he would never eat whale, and he kept rapping about We're just it. Just gonna fucking spoil everything. God, I mean, I'm just thanks, saying it's, thanks, it's really Brian. it's really hard to get out of that loop. <laughs> um, what is what is the name of the writer director? There are a couple of great anime Vincent films Gallo. that you might like. Um, Woody Allen, <laughs> uh, the, uh, weathering with you, no, the weathering with you guy, Stanley and the, your Tucci. name guy. Uh, Roman um, Polanski, um, the Amelia biggest Earhart. <laughs> no, okay, no, I uh, lost me. Someone the in the chat knows, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Ford trucks. <laughs> there's, Fritz there's, the cat. There's. <laughs> I watched that in the theater, by the way. You cried. You, Ford cried. Trucks? you cried. Fritz the cat. I, you cried. So I, I don't cried know. Every you cried. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm believing. Wait, now. what? Uh, is I'm this a movie or an anime? No, they're oh, you, movies. You don't know, you don't know Fritz films. the cat? I'm aware of Fritz oh. the cat. I'm asking him <laughs> so we can advance the fucking topic. No, I mean let's <laughs> talk about Fritz the cat. You're obviously upset about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this out. <laughs> I mean, how show Arkram, me, Arkram me was mad the, about that was, movie and he, he killed the very, character. Yeah. Is it Walter yeah. Goggins? No. Walter. God damn it. Everybody. It's Walton. <laughs> no, it's Captain it's, Fubar. It's Walter. Doing his thing. Um, fuck, no, I don't remember his name. But uh, it, the, 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 there are two great anime movies. One's called Your Name. The other one's called Weathering with Akira. Akira. Yeah. And they're both <laughs> fantastic. They're both really good. And the... Uh, um, the the guy who wrote and directed it, um, a lot of his staff 
had come over from Studio Ghibli when Miyazaki had shut down at the time. And so they're like top triple S tier animated. Okay, I'm going to throw movies. a name out. Satoshi Kon? No, I don't think that's it. No, Brian, okay. I want to apologize to you. Yep. yep. We should have fucking went to Fritz the Cat. You yeah. made, you made yep. the correct Tried decision. Really hard. You made the correct decision. Really hard. Okay. Like, I fucking boner. ignored it. I Cat ignored boner. I ignored it. Pointed in the right direction. Always right. true north. Yeah. Right. Right. Cat boner is always point true Come north. Sign, Makoto yeah. Shinka. That's it. I believe that's it. That's there his we name. Go. But okay. Fritz goes, the Cat. Fucked. <laughs> yes, he did. He was grabbing he a tit in the poster. That's yep. true. Fritz the cat grabbed that tit. He would eat a whale. You got to see. Uh, got to see. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, who, who do you who do you hit your it? wagon to now, Justin? <laughs> who do you hit your wagon to now? <laughs> <laughs> the Game of Thrones like, is dead. I'm like, literally, like, I'm, I'm literally, like just, I'm literally just trying. Different. He's I'm, like wishbone. We're we're both pulling. <laughs> Exactly. What and do I want to like do? Waiting to write do, down. I, do I do I want to have a very dry conversation about anime, or just spoil this movie that we're trying to make people go and see? Yeah. Randy from South Park is in it. He is. <laughs> no, it is it is Roger Rabbit in in its in its yes. cartoon cameos. I will. Uh, you know that is a good thing for me to sit down and watch with Ek. We're gonna do that. Yes, it is very good. Oh man, we can't Nixon, it. good or bad? <laughs> we round table conversation, Brett. Right. Yes. You, you. Brett Bryce. <laughs> Suck it to me. Suck it to me. Brian. Suck Wait a minute. Me. Are are three quarters of the cast names that start with BR? Yeah. Yes. Yes. The BR Bros. Yep. And then, oh, you're just fucking catching that up. Real we American already did the club. We've got the, the we've got the song. BR Bros. We've got the song. Yeah, it's not that it's song. Not that Justin song. Justin Robert Young is a piece of shit. We it's already just excluded Justin years <laughs> ago. Yeah, yeah. Three, three BR. That's why he shaved his head. And one Jew. Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, <laughs> no, you you right. definitely Tracks. against his wishes. It kept that in the. Uh, in the the Patreon <laughs> episode, hey, wait, it, uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. BR bros. At the hey man, BR bro, <laughs> BR bro. You got something you want to say? I'm nah, here for man, you. You're on my side. I mean, you, you, you're in my corner, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A real right, American right, hero. Right, ride, ride or die. Right, ride, yeah, ride or die. You're BR bros. Oh, are you, you're gonna play it, aren't you? Oh, no. No. call Jacob Smith. Oh, oh God, God damn, damn it! it. Oh, damn <laughs> it. <laughs> I just want to see if he remembers. I just want to see if he Oh, I guarantee you. If he remembers that time. Yeah. We, we don't have to spoil nothing for we him. We don't. What's up, buddy? Hey, man, you're live on the show right now. I just was calling because a story came up, and I wanted to see if you remembered this moment in time. Do you remember the time that uh, uh, you were here, and we were recording the Patreon Extra, and I just picked you up from the airport? <laughs> and then before yes. we started, uh, uh, Bryce said... Accidentally question mark? Are you ready, Jew? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay. I will never forget Bryce asking you if you were ready, Jew. <laughs> okay. All right. I just wanted to call live on the air to see whether or not you remembered that moment. Okay. I that moment vividly. That moment will forever be ingrained in my head, and I might have it put on my tombstone as well. <laughs> He's gonna do it too. Yeah. I and, him. Hang uh, on. He's gonna weird, do it weirdly, too. Weirdly, he's going to intend it as a quote to Christ. Like, are you ready, Jew? <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> I love you, Jacob. I just wanted to oh. see though. You don't know if you don't ask. You don't know if you don't ask. Right. I'm a true. journalist, Bryce. I got ready? a journalism the hard degree questions. at one of at one of the most prestigious schools for such a the trade. Short question. Yep. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, oh, that's no. journalism. Ask him. You want me to ask call him back? Well, do you think he's ever eaten whale? <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> you know what? The, the worst reference. thing is that's the only joke in that sequence, too. No, <laughs> that's the yeah. only joke. And in by the way, sequence. that was why. All right, so spoiler alert for the fucking movie. Whoa, whoa, there's, whoa! You're gonna whoa. spoil the there's, movie now? There's a what scene the fuck? where both Chip what and Dale are, are are being forced to what fucking fuck? try and freestyle rap, and oh they do it poorly. God. For which I'm like, so this is something that Brian will find really funny. So inappropriate. Again, it's a movie made for the two of us. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Who's Chip and who's Dale? 
Well, uh, which one of us has eaten whale? <laughs> no, I, I've I was told that that's I've been sent whale. Wink. <laughs> no, I haven't. I don't think I ate it. Okay, I was sent it. I have not. Been, I have <laughs> well, if you sent a bag it. of weed and you took a picture of it, and I put took it a picture on Twitter. and posted it on the internet. <laughs> yeah, and then Maine called me and was like, "Please take that down. That's <laughs> a felony. That's a felony. <laughs> and yeah, it, you're not allowed to do that." And Justin bravely wrote, "LOL, can't believe you all fell for that. Total jokes, bro. Mm. Yeah, mm. that was a Photoshop. <laughs> Facts. This is lard. Yes. Yeah. Yeah." That was old Twitter. Like you could barely. It was like a post. You can tell. Yeah. yeah. Should, should we all delete PGA our Twitter account. accounts? Would that be the most responsible thing? That'd be fun. You want to do I'd it right now? Him. Suicide Pact. You've got the most to lose. Yeah. You do. I don't know that all I have I that have much to lose. Account, I mean, so. we're all looking at each other. This I joke like, is about to become very real. Yeah, I know. Soon. It is real. Like, I mean, I really happening? enjoy just posting pictures of dogs now. Very few people get angry when I post pictures. Actually, people still get angry. They're all like, why do you have that buzz collar on your dog? <laughs> uh, there, there's no way you're going to do it. What? You wouldn't. What? You've got too many followers. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? This is your defense to not <laughs> yep. do it. Is you're what? just going to say what? <laughs> no, I mean, so I literally, what? <laughs> what do you mean, What? What? Yeah, exactly. There we go. <laughs> We're moving. That's on. what I thought. We're moving on. That's what I thought. We're moving. On. Do you know what I got an email for today? Uh, you know, Sticker Mule. Yeah, you were aware. So, yep. so yep. I, they they started a social network, what? Um, and it's called. <laughs> God damn it! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> See, what? it is fun. <laughs> I, I, I'm listening. I heard Say all of what? that. Say what? One more time. I heard, I heard all of that. <laughs> and what? so, it's called. What? It's called. St- uh, uh, someone checked me, but I think it's called Stimulate. Yeah. Wow. And the idea is it's it, a social network, and brands who want to be good can <laughs> get awareness of their brand through giveaways. And it's a social network where the giveaway is built into the thing. I, I it's mean, not a terrible idea. Yeah, yeah, it sounds pretty brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds okay, except you have to like get people to want to do to re-stim something. No, basically it's, you are you are looking for re-stimming. people who want yeah, free shit, right? And so uh, people who want it, free shit it, really yeah, want to give their their personal data. <laughs> should, instead of mm. RTs, they should be BTs for ball tickles. Yeah. Just to be like, hey man, give me a BT. Yeah, I think that's on Truth. <laughs> Pepsi. That's on Truth Social. The beauty of Pepsi. Yeah, yeah, that's a re-stim. A <laughs> and then I might get twenty dollars. <laughs> the beauty. Of the beauty of Pepsi. <laughs> Yes, you get five dollars off after you spend fifty dollars at uh, 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 participating Pepsi retailers. It adds up. Over it time, does. it adds up. It does. You know what? Make it up on volume. That's right. That's what I say. Long tail. Tail it. Us. Whale tail it. Whale tail the I've long never tail. Eaten whale. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what right? whale tail is. It was a great moment where they're like, "We chip and tail, and we never eat whales." <laughs> Like there are a lot of words that rhyme with Dale too. Yeah. Are there? Fail. Nail seven. Uh, no, I mean this is the Scale. fucking joke in the movie. Nail. Pale. S- s- stale. Fail. Fail. Scale. Grail. Trail. Shit, dude. Mail. Maybe that movie wasn't as funny as we thought it was. Maybe we're funnier than no, this I movie think right now. Panicking. It's right now. Because no. Flula Borg is a snake. Oh, I love Flula Borg. He's in that scene. He's oh. a snake. I think he's the snake from Jungle Book. Sure he is. Yeah. Yeah. But he's also a DJ in this version. Well, of course he is. And he's made a, a remix of the, of the of the Disney, Disney afternoon, afternoon soundtrack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Animation soundtrack. I, really? I'm, I, I swear to God, you're I not gotta, going home before 1 a.m. Uh, <laughs> we're going to watch no, the whole movie No, again. because my wife would want to watch this. Fucking yeah. Borat over wait, here. Wait, wait, wait. What are you gonna, <laughs> my wife. Are you going to get a kiss at the end? I, you, Maybe. Yeah. I, don't spoil our fucking okay, A block. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> anyway, man. TJ in a mall for its last essay. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, can we just spoil that? Let's <laughs> right, spoil yeah. that. Five minutes there. Yeah. Right. All right. Thank you, Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Bryce. Thank Stay you, everybody nice. in the green room. Spoil the whole film. I, I actually Take think the, the uh, uh, there, there. Okay. You, you could probably talk us into doing a running commentary. That's might be yeah what I've been thinking about for the last ten minutes. You could probably yeah. talk us into doing that. Uh, uh, because we really did like <laughs> Man, the movie, and also it, it's it, like, would, it would be great if, 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 if I mean, and there, there's a lot of shit that I didn't recognize because I'm sure that you probably did because you've seen more recent animation 
than I have having kids. So like, there's probably a lot of shit that I missed. Like, like I didn't even know who was the chick that was across from them that wasn't Ugly Sonic. Oh, uh, t- t- uh, Tigra, T I G R A, I think. Yeah, or? I didn't, I didn't know. Tigre. Yeah, uh, I didn't know that one. Also, there uh, apparently there's a bit of controversy because like one of the Kingdom Hearts characters, his iconic uh, hairstyle is one of the things in the bag that was removed, and um, some sleuth figured out that it was definitely exactly traced from fan art not original art which is oh jesus christ which is wow. so stupid that's jesus. deep like it's that so, is some it's so deep dumb because like, right like there. you fucking had the actual art and couldn't be bothered so you did fan art yeah, yeah. well yeah i mean uh, but also uh, it it maybe it's uh, uh, because the, they had 9000 fucking animation yes. references to retrace yeah. they're yeah. like you know this is good enough is great uh, a Tigra from uh, the Avengers, a 90s cartoon that nobody remembers. Okay. Huh. Well, that makes sense that she's next to Ugly Sonic. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I did think it was adorable that Skeletor and He Man were sharing a booth. I mean, that was almost that. Like, what are y'all doing? There are, there what? are, yeah, there are, there are Come a few on. moments that are a little okay. like, that are a little fucking Geico Addy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What are you saying? You want to hang out tonight? No, I'm saying I want to go home and watch it with my wife. <laughs> okay, for whom right, is right. like a fucking actual illustrator and loves animation. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, yeah. There's... TJ and I'm all for it. Uh, yes, real quick, uh, stuff we're not going to hear about. Uh, I, I I know we get one story of your uh, Georgia adventures. Yes. Sure. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Give us another one. Another story of my Georgia uh, adventures. Um, I went to the uh, red phone booth because it was walking distance from. Is that a, a speakeasy that, that I, is, I love a lot that's because the one it's so you... hard to get into? So, by the way, the last <laughs> time that Brian tried to break into the fucking uh, speakeasy that was really easy to break into. Because, by the way, he broke into it the first weekend it was ever open. Yes. Do you, uh, do you and know then why? tried to do it because there was a line to the phone booth. And, and... no, 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 no. The first time you did it, you were just uh, uh, upset that we uh, uh, that their entrance method was not immediate, like uh, a redheaded I'm stepsister or whatever. Who, who, who knows? Uh, <laughs> that it that they're, they're short staff. You so said have... you said. Right, by the way, you said easily. Uh, you said redheaded stepsister, and I was writing down easily entered, and I was like, <laughs> wait, <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> Sounds like my afternoon wow. when I lock the door to my office. Some videos that I've been uh, watching. Oh, my God. What are you doing in here? You're my stepbrother. You're my, <laughs> you're my brown-headed stepbrother. Uh, no, you fucking, the next year, you saw a line, and you're like, fuck this. I'm fucking, this ain't a real speakeasy. Real speakeasies don't have any entrances or exits other than the one for which you're prescribed to go into. That's right. That's how I talk all the time. And, then you, and then you fucking wrestling. walked into it, and then they promptly kicked us both out because they're like, you walked in the side entrance. Anyway, <laughs> it's a nice place. It's always a fun time whenever we've gone to Dragon Con. So I went there, and uh, the bartender... For whom I later was apologized to by the staff uh, for being too talkative was a former lobbyist in Florida politics. Wow. And all I wanted to do was pick this motherfucker's brain about Florida politics. Uh, did he divulge any of this or, or is that like something you don't, uh, is there a no. kayfabe? You don't, no, you don't no, talk no. about he what went, you represented. He went okay. all in. Yeah. No, he, his story was he was trying they had opened up all these parlors around Florida that were doing not gaming, but sweepstakes, <laughs> which is legally distinct. Ra- raffles. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Charity raffles. Exactly. And it's raffling time. Uh, they were about to get uh, officially kind of codified into the state's legislature when uh, everything fell apart and they all got recode. And they got thrown in jail for two months. What's and... funny is is it took me a good, like, three seconds to realize that you were spelling recode, not R-E slash C-O-D-E. No. But R-I-C-O apostrophe D. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. 
uh, 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 yeah, so so he was uh, amazing. Like, I, I wandered in on a Sunday afternoon, and this man was like my my dream bartender of, of all time, except for the fact that he was really fucking slow in making drinks. Uh, Corey. That is amazing. Uh, Corey? Okay, he's out. No, because yeah. he wants to go talk about cars. Yeah, right. it's, it's time for no. us to <laughs> yeah, 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 cars. Yeah. He wants to you. set up for his car Send talk. Send it over. Just had to cross our <laughs> orbit on his way to Earth. We should just send it on over Mission to Bryce. Control. Yeah. Hey. Oh, hey, Corey's here. Oh, Corey's here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's, that's, that's fast. fast. That's fun. That was a long trip just to yeah, get over there. Well, are you two going to rap about what? Probably, uh, Probably uh, uh, Spain and Monaco, Spain. all sorts of good Spanish, stuff. yeah, the Spanish Grand Prix. The Grand Prix, Grand Premio. Grand Premio. Yeah. Oh. What, what, what happened with the drag system? It was broken. It, was it broken. didn't work it most didn't of the time. Most of the time. Okay. So emotionally, <laughs> you would say of all the feelings, you found it to be a real yeah. Uh, if you were if you if you were to say that, uh, 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 and this is a metaphor, so yeah. bear with me. If you were to say Max Verstappen has or has not ever eaten whale, like like <laughs> where where would you land on? Oh, that? I, I don't well, know yeah. where this is. Corey, I mean, he's eaten all the whale. He's oh, wow. Corey's saying you know, maybe he yeah, has eaten some whale. Oh yeah. Maybe he's eaten some whale. Hundred yeah. percent. All right. Fucking talk about cars. Okay, Fuck you. thank you. I right, love you. <laughs> everybody in the green room. And thank you, everybody who watches us live here on twitch.tv slash night attack. Thank you for joining us here. Uh, we will do a little bit of car talk in just a second, but we got to do some birthday borners. It's time to hey, celebrate some birthdays. Who's, who's, who's older now? Let's see. Let's find out. We were here last week, right? Yes. Yes, on the 17th. Okay, great. So it looks like we've got, um, let's see. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I think we just have Dan 33 today. My brothers Caleb and Cameron turned 31 on the 22nd, a couple of days ago. Nice. Happy birthday, Caleb and Cameron, if you've got a... Uh, 31. Gosh, that's old. <laughs> Man, that's old. I wish I, wish I knew somebody else. Though. <laughs> yeah, well. Old 31. It's, it's, yeah. I mean, I mean, look, look. You're What's getting that? me. You get me. Hi, Corey. Hey, how you doing? Uh, uh, yeah. So, um, over the weekend, Spanish Grand Prix. Yeah. Pretty early in the morning. How'd you think? How'd you feel? I felt, I felt good. Um, your boy came out on top. Yeah, he did. Thanks for stopping. One. Uh, this is notoriously kind of a ho hum track. Mm-hmm. It is a testing track, and there's a reason why it's a testing track because it's a little bit of everything. It's a little bit of everything, including boring. Yeah. Um. So it's kind of hard to pass. However, I was very impressed with this year because all the changes they made to the cars, mm-hmm. there was actually s- several good passes. Max managing to do what he did with more or less no DRS. Yes, was, was you know, relatively that's, impressive. Yeah. Um, a good fight with uh, between Verstappen and uh, George. Yeah. Oh, that was great. For a lap there. That was nice. George was defending fantastic the whole race. Very yeah. good. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, so Red Bull, Red Bull up. Uh, uh, Russell came in third. Perez was second. Yep. Uh, what? How do you feel about the Perez getting team order? So, uh, so kind of. Usually, I don't love it. So they told However. they they told they told Sergio just in case someone missed it. They told Sergio, "Hey, Max is coming up. Uh, don't fight him." Yeah, he's on a different. Uh, he's on a different race than different you. Race than you. So, <laughs> so don't fight him. Yes. And it's like Perez has been nothing but a great teammate in this way. He doesn't need doesn't need to be told that and i i completely feel for him of like yeah i get it i know what i'm doing here and also a little embarrassing yeah like we everybody is hearing this Mm -hmm. and and he's also in that situation where he doesn't have a new contract yet um yeah it's 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 weird is it same thing with botas right when you have a champion on the team Mm -hmm. and that is a generational driver because just like lewis generational driver uh, possibly the best ever, depending on how you want to split it. Oh. Uh, and then Verstappen is only 24 years old and <laughs> holds all the records for the young drivers. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, he's just now the age where Lewis Hamilton started winning. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, actually, not even yet. Lewis Hamilton was older, I believe. Oh, uh, Clo- anyway, close. close. Yeah. Um, oh, right. No, he was like a year shy yeah. of the title two years ago. Yeah, that was it? Or of the of the short youngest record. Yeah. Uh, you know what I didn't realize? Sebastian Vettel is younger than Lewis Hamilton. Yeah. He, I was not aware of that. Yeah. Woo. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, because he, he was the same way where he was the youngest, at the time, the youngest 
uh, driver who had success, basically. Yeah, driver uh, championship. Or a super yeah. young driver that had super, a, a ton of success. So, yeah, so he actually is younger. But only like a year, though, I think, right? Yeah, something very, yeah. Um, and, yeah. But it's, but it's tough because you, when, you're, when you're paired with a generational driver, what are you going to do? And, and it's for somebody like Perez, like... This was his last chance, this really. Is, yeah, it's your last chance. You're a great driver. Yeah. We brought you on to be second. Let's congratulations you get the opportunity to maybe win a race right too, just like botas like we'll let you win a race or two if our other driver happens to die during the race yeah. <laughs> when i i wonder if because uh, it's not that i mean red bull has also been racing forever but i i i feel like has has red bull in the past in the recent history been in a position to firmly have a first driver, second driver, because it could absolutely be absolutely Vettel, and yeah. it wasn't close. Because um, I I wonder how much of it is just like they don't know the right way to say it. They don't know the right way to to play. Because Mercedes has done it for a very long time, mm -hmm. whether or not you believe it. Like clearly Hamilton was the number one. No, you can't give them that excuse because the same people that ran Red Bull when uh, Vettel won four in a row. Yeah. Uh, are the same exact people that run it now. Uh, so no, they, I don't know, whatever their opinion is on it, they are they are very firm in the idea of, we have a number one. Yeah. Because the second Max showed up, they were like, he is our number one. Yeah. And, uh, and, which is why it ran Ricardo off. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because Ricardo immediately knew like, uh-oh. So uh, we, we mentioned Bo Botas earlier, how uh, a very, a high and a low for Alfa Romeo yet again. Yeah. Uh, Botas, I believe, finished sixth, I want to say. He got some good points, but Joe had retired yeah. pretty early on in the race again. Yeah, they're one of my teams. I'd actually, yeah, so my... Your fantasy team? Yeah, one of my fantasy teams as one of the teams because I needed somebody to be cheap but good. Oh. And so they fit that bill very well. So I sure wish Joe could have gotten 10th or whatever that he could have gotten. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he definitely. But, I mean, Botas has shown that they have a car that can do something. No, Botas finished right where he should. Huh? He finished right where he should. Like it's it's a sh it's a shame a little bit that his tire situation made it where he couldn't finish, but also there was a reason why he was up in fourth or fifth or whatever it was there for a little bit. It's because he didn't pit. <laughs> yeah. So I think he fit. He finished right where he's supposed to. Yeah. Um. Uh. The other the other story was uh, uh McLaren. Uh. Daniel Ricciardo yet again pointless. But uh, McLaren. which team is McLaren? Are they, still, <laughs> they, they still race. They might, yeah, they might they haven't be. been relegated yet. Well, hey, they got some points today. Yeah. They Orlando came in eighth yep. with apparently he had tonsillitis, huh. um, and so he didn't do really any. Uh, apparently, he did very little radio during the race. He did not do a post race radio. He did not do post race interviews. Wow, um, that would be very tough. That would fucking suck. Breathing that hard, yeah. Because it's, it's actually funny because after the race. The drivers were doing their interviews and stuff, and all of them, and throughout all these years, I've noticed, but all of them, after every single race, like, man, that was a real hard race. That was so tough. That was real hard. Mm -hmm. And then, apparently, it's just really hard to drive a Formula One car for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> every time, they're like, that was terrible. That yeah. was real hard. You know, they talk about, uh, you know, they lose, what, like seven kilograms of water weight yeah. during a race. <laughs> you know? Crazy. It's, <laughs> so, this is this is only sort of tangential. But they're long races, and people don't think about them being long races. Um, and so, Sunbun, one of our mods here, a longtime Diamond Clover, he got the Formula One game. I think he got it on Game Pass. Yeah. And so he was like, yeah, I don't know. Xbox Game Pass, right? Yes. All right, Xbox Game Pass. Okay. And uh, he goes like. Is that where you get the free games? <laughs> and he goes, uh, I did a race and it was just so, it was just a real, it was a real slog. And uh, I had asked him, are you doing a 100% like distance race <laughs> on the game? No, no, no. You don't want to do that. Because yeah. they're long. I mean, even if you're not in the physical heat and the mm -hmm. condition and the bumping, all of the actual fucking bumping. Um. It's still fucking two hours of your life. Two hours. I think <laughs> I had to go back. I'm, this is a total lie because I don't remember how the no, exact numbers, but I believe the average heart rate is 160 to 180 uh, the whole race, two hours. Uh, so it's a dead sprint. Yeah. Like because I, when I play basketball now, I'm obviously uh, not different body shape. <laughs> um, but my my heart rate is like above 190 when I'm playing basketball. Yeah. I can't, and that's only for like stretches of a minute or two. I cannot imagine just yeah. sticking there for two hours straight. Mm -hmm. it's, and, oh, and thinking you're gonna die if you don't. Yes. That, yeah. Because 
you know, it's uh, seeing a lot of, we saw a lot of spins in the Grand Prix because of, te we believe it was the wind mm -hmm. uh, uh, into, what was it, turn, turn four maybe, where just a lot of, there was a lot of spinning out. And um, it was four, yeah, thank you. Uh, um, uh, there was a lot of spinning out that probably wouldn't have happened under normal wind conditions. Mm -hmm. um, and so even just the fucking wind is enough to, could ruin your whole day, could ruin your neck, could, yeah. Just light you on fire. Yes. You know? <laughs> yes. Uh, it's, uh, oh boy, they're athletes. Yeah. Um, Crazy. That's... I don't even want to get into those like, 24 hours. No. Le Mans and. Pat Hamilton, I forget. Where was he? Uh, I oh, he got, no, I should remember. He got raised to driver of the day. Was he really driver of the day? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait. Uh, okay. I mean, he had a good. He, Look, I mean, he didn't start from the back, but he might as well have. Did you hear that message he had? It was oh, super sad. It was. And apparently, the, he, so, so yeah, during the race, Hamilton goes, he had spun out and he goes, I would save this engine, guys. This is really, we're not going to, we should really just call it. This is like lap two. Yes. <laughs> and so they're like, no, you can keep going. So he, he goes from the very back of the pack and he finishes in fifth, I want to yeah, say. Fifth, yeah. Nearly um, fourth. Nearly fourth. And he would have if his car didn't break it the very last second. Yep. Um, I don't know Which, what if what what happened in his mind because is he upset with the team? He's renowned. I think he's just totally crushed. Maybe he's not used to being in last. Can I interject here. Yeah, so, hey, what's up, Justin uh, Robert uh, Young? One of the dudes who I was talking to at the Red Phone Booth bar uh, was a, an F1 fan from like back in the day, like back in the the early. I don't know, like. 70s 80s whenever whenever the like early early heyday of of f1 and yeah. boy is he fucking annoyed at you cucks for driving up the price <laughs> like <laughs> boy like he's thrilled he like he, he you could tell that he was already at the point where he was like oh i'm really really glad like oh everybody's getting more uh, fame and excitement and netflix and oh look at that and now he's literally just annoyed that he couldn't go to was miami because it, it, it was too fucking expensive it was boats well, he was like, like, yeah, and he's like an older, it was the miniature uh, golf uh, course. fairly well off dude, but he's like not, you know, Sultan rich to yeah, like yeah. get like, so he's just like, like, it would have been $10,000 to go see the race in Miami. Yeah. I only had $5,000. Well, yeah, he was just being, being, uh, Corey, can you imagine? Blech. No. Actually, I was can. God, I, can't I really wish that we were all here so you could you could be like shooting back at him right now. <laughs> this would be th this should be a segment of your podcast. Which, by the way, if you think that they should spin off this into an a, an hour long <laughs> weekly podcast, please say that in in the chat right That's now because right. I think it should happen. But also, one of the segments should be just you arguing with an old F one fan <laughs> and, and, and just being like, "Shut up, old man! It's our it's our sport now. <laughs> it used to be more it's dangerous. All, it's all fucking baby Lando memes until we bury you, you <laughs> baby fucking. Lando. Baby Lando's in the well. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you, Corey. Yeah, hugs and kisses. All right, and thank you everybody for listening to us here in the green room, great room pre show thing. I'm a Bob here for the Great Night Program. Of course, you can support us over on Patreon, patreoncom slash great night you can get a uh, big mega feed with all the shows you can get uh, the bonus episodes of the bones every week up to f up to five times a month even i'm told no uh, no, no, right. no 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 oh, no no oh. <laughs> I, I was reading your halfway and uh and all sorts of good stuff so check us out patreon.com slash great night all right let's do some checky ruse brett how are you doing oh well i am Okay, you don't need any hey. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Corey yeah. and Corey yeah. and Corey. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, all camera crew. It's ready. Justin and Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The audience. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> the chat. All right. There we go. All right, Brett. Are you ready to go? I am ready. Then I will count you in. All right. Begin the great night program in three, 